My name is Benjamin Wright. Some refer to me as Dr. Benjamin Wright. I was looking at this chart, it's like, damn, I wrote my butt off on this chart. <laughs> Talk about which, which might have used some of them all. Okay. Um, there's a little story behind MXL and me. Several years ago, I was doing a symphony day in Alabama uh, at a big church, big orchestra, about 50, 60 pieces. Uh, me and my engineer. We got to the venue, everything was set up for rehearsal, and they had all of these MXL microphones. Now, I did not know anything about MXL microphones other than they were the microphones that would be on sale or you get one free when you bought something from the guitar center. So from my standpoint, it's like, hey, this is nothing. So I walk in, I see all of these microphones, MXLs. So when I go to the people involved, I'm like, what's up with this? They say, well, Mr. Wright, what, what, what do you mean? I say, these microphones, we should have, you know, I start naming stuff in the whole bit. And they say, well, sir, you know, it's, it's a little late now. Um, you know, uh, Saturday evening, and you know, it's not like you know, the, the guitar center that might be open till 10 o'clock, whatever. So it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And we were taping this as well. Well, I had the guy set up the, the tape machine the whole day, and uh, we put it in record, and I'm stuck with these particular microphones. I can't tell you what, what they, they were, but my God, we must have had about 40 or 50 of them, okay? When rehearsal was over, I had the guy play some of the stuff back, and packing up to, to get out and so they can start cleaning up and setting up for the next day for the, for the actual concert. And when the cat started playing it back, it's like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that with these microphones? I was blown away. So you got to be kidding me. These microphones? Yes, sir. I couldn't wait to get back to LA. As soon as I got back in, I guess, you know, I got back on a Monday, whatever, Tuesday, I went to the Guitar Center and I bought six of those microphones. I was so impressed in terms of how they sound on the recordings. Okay, I start playing with them, using them, whatever. I like what was happening. And then a guy came out here from, from Boston for a NAM convention. And he was here, he says, Benjamin, I gotta make a run. I have to go talk to MXL. I was like, MXL, the microphone guys? He says, yes. You should come with me. I said, no. And then I, I told him the story about the, the microphones. And then he was insisting that I come. I couldn't make it. Because we, we had a date that evening. I got a call from my friend and MXL that day. That started a relationship. Soon after... MXL came out with the V69. Didn't have a chance to check it out. They, they, they sent me one to check out. And another symphony day here in LA. Um, we needed a couple of more microphones. And I had brought the V69 with me. My engineer, Reggie Dozier, checked it out. He just 
you know, test, test, one, two, three, and he's like, wow, man, did you hear that? Like, yeah. I said, this is phenomenal. Where is this? It's a V69. Nobody heard of the V69s. It was brand new. Okay? We didn't use it that day. But when we got back to my studio, I started playing with it. It's like, wow, this is hot, man. This is hot. So we had a string date. Let, let MXL know this. I purchased 12 of them. Hello. No, you didn't give them to me. I purchased 12. Okay. Um, I used the V69s on my high strings and my violas at that time. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I started taking the V69s with me on dates I had downtown. You know, the first thing we did was here at, at my studio. But I started going to other rooms and when I would bring out the V69s, I got a very negative vibe from, from engineers and, you know, studio. So I, I would always ask, well, may we use these mics? Well, you know, I don't know. Well, let's A and B them. Okay, cats will put up their microphones, you know, I, I'm not going to call any names, but the big tubes and whatever, some Normans, I got some myself, and the V69s. Cat was always start with theirs, had my concert best to play, it's like, yeah, okay, can we, can we try the, the, the V69, okay. They were ready for the challenge. V69. And they want to go back to theirs. V69. They start looking at each other. Then I get a confirmation. Okay, we can use his mics. Whoa. And three times in different studios, Upon completion of the date, they want to find out about the V69s. The V69s was blowing everything away. Okay? Now, MXL comes out with the Genesis. Benjamin, you should check out the Genesis. Genesis 1. Well, it was just called Genesis. I checked out the Genesis. The Genesis worked better than the V69 on my high strings. So, I could not afford too many of these Genesis. But if you look at my room, it's one, two, three, four. This is, this is the violin section. And I got two V69s. Now I got a closet full of V69s. But with the Genesis, fine. For my violas, you see what this is? You see what mic this is? This is your ribbon. Because I use the ribbons on trumpets. Now also, from a brass standpoint, this ribbon holds trumpet players. Because I do a lot of high writing for brass. It holds them. You know, some of the other mics start clipping and whatever, especially when you got, you know, superstars, Bijan, Sal, uh, Mr. Ford, a lot, of, a lot of cats that play them. You know, they just blow microphones out. But the ribbons hold them. Now, it was my engineer, Reggie Doji, who said we should try these on the violas. I got to give him credit on this one because they were outstanding. They are outstanding. Uh, so, you know, we tell him no. I bought four of them. Now I also have a, uh, I don't have these set up because I use them on saxophones, the V6s. V6 is excellent, excellent, everything. Let me show you what I use on my shows. I inquired about these some time ago because I wanted something to handle my cellos and contrabasses. This is the 604. Um, when I go to the studios, I take these. I use 604s 
on violas, I'm sorry, on cellis and contrabasses. I am 200% pleased with my 604s, the R144s, the V69s, Genesis 1 and 2. I, I, I don't I don't need anything else. I don't need anything else. These mics are outstanding. Okay. Um, MXL, please hold up production because I can't buy anything else right now. <laughs> <laughs>